Introducing the Garmin eTrex 35. This is my go-to for navigation. Um, I bought it primarily for when I was riding the bike, but it's got a whole bunch of different uh, options. And as I scroll through, you'll see different screens flashing up there. So here they are. Biking. Tour cycle, which is cool. Mountain bike. Hunting. Fishing. Climbing. And this one here, um, geocaching. And it's basically a, a scavenger hunt. Um, people will hide little stashes and uh, give you clues and it's up to you to use your GPS and, and find the, uh, the hidden stashes. Um, what I'm using today is going to be the hiking. So this is the main screen here and it's got a very intuitive um, map. You can scroll through I have no GPS because I'm in the basement of the house right now, but it gives you an overview map of the terrain and and uh... Hello and welcome back. This is the Garmin Connect software recommended by Garmin and uh, I downloaded this and installed it on the desktop when I bought the uh, eTrex Touch 35 and just a quick overview of what you're looking at here um, is my week at a glance nothing in there because I haven't done any bike riding um, it's been snowing and uh, just not been the weather for it here is a list of all of the um, courses that I've researched some we've written and some I have not yet um, but it's anywhere where I go on to the overall map I can save it to here and we're going to go through and do a, uh, a course for tomorrow. Scrolling down a little bit more, <clears throat> you can see here is a, um, it's like a goal and I put back in early August when I bought the uh, uh, Garmin GPS, 700 kilometers was my goal and I exceeded that, I got 812.3. So anyway, that's an overview of this particular display. On this side here, it gives you a whole bunch of other, um, I guess, options, challenges, right? Um, the calendar, again, nothing on there. Activities, and this is an in-depth uh, look at all of the actual rides and, and, and walks that we've done since I've gotten the uh, GPS back at uh, August the 9th. Uh, and scrolling further, this one's the real fun one. I have a option of collecting badges. And this one was my first night ride, um, 50 mile ride. And this one was the early riser for the mornings when I went to work and rode my bike to work. Five mile ride, 20 mile ride, and it just keeps you kind of going. It gives you something to, uh, to go and look forward to. And this one is your personal best. Uh, my longest ride to date has been 125.68 kilometers. It's actually 140. I, I split two little rides up. Um, that same day. But anyway, um, we're going to go back to the main screen here. One more click. Two more clicks. There we go. And, <clears throat> pardon me, hitting the plus here, we'll add another ride. Or walk or hike. You'll see the, all the options are right here. And the options are cycle road cycling, mountain biking, gravel. That's the one I really like. I don't run, I don't run trail, but this one we're gonna go hiking. Let's and continue. All right, so this is the satellite view 
Um, and this parking lot here is where we're going to start from. And we're going to do our little walk. Uh, this is a road that was a private road and they closed it off now. It's no longer uh, accessible by car, but you can actually walk down here, which is kind of neat. I rode the bike this summer up here and then down Tim Road to, to go back home. This is when I was doing my ride from work. So we'll go to terrain view. There we go. All right, and there's the parking lot. So we're gonna start here as our starting point. Zoom out a little bit. And where do we want to go? Um, we're going to go along here. Now this gives us an option of freehand and follow road. Freehand, what you're doing to do is you're going to click. Oh, we'll do it for you here. You have to click every point. You see how it's not following the path? So if I go follow roads, and let's say I wanted to go down here. See how it followed it all the way around automatically? That's that's the neat thing. Now, this is the Trans-Canada Trail here, I believe. Yep, Trans-Canada Trail. You can bike down it, you can walk down it. It's very popular. Um, I'm going to where shall we go? This is so neat. Um, well, let's go down the Trans-Canada Trail a little bit. Okay. And... Hmm. I don't want to do a major walk. Uh, but we are, we'll go for... Okay, let's let's do that. Let's go uh, up here, up here, along Robertson Road to here, back here, and then back to the car again. That gives us 4.42 kilometers. Um, that should be a good uh, couple hours walk. We could always deviate from the original plan if we wanted to cut it shorter but no nah, it should be fine trans canada trail i don't mind walking alongside of robertson road for a little bit um that's the hazel dean mall right here i believe yep okay no let's do that um just thinking that's no that's good so when you're all set and you happy with your course this is where you can name it and I'm going to name this one Sunday walk come on you here we go Sunday walk save new course is down here and there we are and this is kind of cool. This gives you the elevation. And when I did and watched the dot travel around the uh, the course there, this is great. When I did the Griffith, North Griffith um, planning, the elevation was about 2,000 feet above sea level. And I knew then that it was going to be a tough ride and there was going to be some places where we'd have to push the bike up the hill because i just can't do those hills very well but yeah just so i'd throw that in that's a, a really neat little tidbit um next thing that uh, we've got to do is we're going to send this particular um, ride to the device but there's a couple of ways of doing that i can click there and send to device or I can go back to come on you here. I got two Sunday walks, but this is the one that we're we're going to uh, do. And then you can send it to device. So if you forgot and you went to that other screen, you can go from it from here. But yeah, there we go, just like that. Uh, this part is over, so I'm gonna. 
do one other thing is thinking off the top of my head I am going to wake up early before the Sun gets up and do this in the dark maybe we'll see some uh, some animals I don't know I, I rode from uh, Britannia Beach. It was about seven o'clock at night and I heard the coyotes and that was so cool. Uh, so I'm hoping that maybe we'll see some, some wildlife. So yeah, we'll try that. We'll get up in the morning and uh, I will see you then. So until morning, it'll be a second for you, but it will be a few hours for me. We'll see you in a little while. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Welcome back. We're here at night, well, early morning, on the uh, trail. This is the Greenbelt Trail. It is icy. It is really, really, really icy. So I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get without falling down here. Um, I've got my GPS on, and I'm going to go into the settings now. Track Manager. There we go. Track Manager. Sunday walk, and there's the route right there. It's hard to see, I guess. All right, so not much yet. We're at trail marker 21. Uh, trail 21, and I don't know how much. I got left on an SD card. So. I have extra SD cards in my pack I can do, but it's so cold. And I didn't bring gloves. I was not thinking, I guess. You can see the ground is pretty. Pretty icy. Not much here to just gonna first person view. There we go. There. Head down. See the snow there? Not much. We are in our first leg of the track. There's a deer right there in the dark. I don't know if you can see him. There's a deer right there. Wow, so cool. Makes worthwhile going out here. It's a deer, it's a deer, it's a deer. Look at that. It's a deer. If I turn my light up, maybe. It's a male too. There, look at him, see? See the deer? There he is. Looking at me, looking at you. Let's see how close we can get before he jumps away. That is so cool. It's okay, mister. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not here to hurt you. No way. Uh -uh. It's probably blinded by my light. Look how close I'm awesome getting. I'm just kind of scared now. If he turns around and decides he wants to be uh, Mr. Macho. Yeah, Mr. Macho. I guess there's two of them. Yeah, there is. Two deer. He's going through the woods. You can see the uh, the eyeballs lighting up. Nice. Wow. So we saw a deer. He's still there looking at us. Oh, there's, oh, there's one, two, three, four deer. Look at them all. Hi, guys. Hi guys, I'm not here to get you. No way, uh uh. It's okay, don't worry, I'm not here to get you. Yeah, look at you. Look at you, eh? Whoa! Look at you. Okay, you have fun. Onward and upward. Oh, the wind's cracked down a couple of trees. Look at that. I don't know if you saw that or not. I mean, my ISO wasn't set for nighttime, but wow, that was so cool. All right.
This is not fun. Holy slippery Batman. Okay. Over top of the swamp. Look at that. That's like a big swamp. Just a big swamp. Look at that. Skating right now. This is just like a simple little board block that's all slushed over. One bad slip and I'm probably up to my knees. And we're not going to slip, right? Right. Good morning. There's like eight deer down the path there. There's about eight deer down there on the path, so your dogs might smell them. Hi guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'll walk on. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you too. All right, so follow this trail, 21. Sky's getting lighter. And uh, we're on the halfway mark, maybe. I remember reading that uh, we could walk a mile in 15 minutes and we could run a mile in a boat if you're in top peak physical condition about four to five minutes the pace I'm going with the snow is uh, going to be a lot less that's okay. We saw some deer. Yay! It's worthwhile for the morning. There's deer. That's deer right there. Right in there. That's deer. Yep. More deer. That was a big one. Thanks, big. They're safe here. They know that because you can't shoot a fire them. I'm going to uh, start up a second channel and uh, oh, hit the screen. It's going to be um, JR's Corner and I'm going to do small projects indoors. So if you're following this vlog because uh, you're interested in my stuff outdoors don't go away because I will try and keep coming out and doing some things but if you wanted to see like um, I'm into model boats so it's going to start modeling a bit more um, check out uh, JR's corner it's uh, gonna be fun I'm gonna do photography I'm gonna do models dioramas and uh, just get my creative side and juices going again. I don't want to uh, stop uh, creating and I don't uh, want to lose my audience so watch for slip sliding videos like this in the winter because I can't ride my bike. Uh, you want to really try to do a, a camping video. Um, I'm not really prepared for Not prepared for the uh, cold weather sleeping bag wise and stuff so it's kind of hard. That must be the fellow I saw on the trail there walking his dogs. I'm gonna go around this way because footing's a bit better. And that's Bell's Corners. Holy crud. So it's telling me to go this way. This is the bike path, I guess. And we're on the train bridge. Woo woo! Oh, look at that. They paint the bridge up and now they graffiti it. I think some people just don't have anything else to do. Whoa! Really? Huh? 
unstable. It probably looks really super high up. Come down with the drone. <laughs> The Insta 360 1 X2. Not sure what this uh, selfie stick is going to look like. Okay, so I started here in the morning before the sun rose. Hi, welcome back again. I just wanted to do a recap of this morning's walk and just give you um, one more glimpse of the uh, Garmin Connect software. Um, <clears throat> so now in the calendar you can see today um, Ottawa hiking. And if I go into my activities, right down here, and it goes Ottawa other, this was something I wanted to point out, and I did incorrectly um, in my other video because um, I pointed to the wrong uh, wrong date. But what happens with the Garmin uh, uh, um, E-Trex uh, Touch 35? I found that if I don't do a, um, a dummy um, uh, activity, this, which would be this one right here, and save it and then start it, the uh, official one, it um, defaults to the day prior. So it would have defaulted back to November 7th, the last um, outing that I had. So that's what this one is, it's just nothing. So I can actually go in here and delete it and it's gone. So if we look at it really quickly, it says I was out for an hour in 20 minutes and 59 seconds and my average pace was I don't understand oh yeah I guess it's 15.4 uh, kilometers a minute I don't know that's a pretty fast walk I don't understand that it doesn't have my average per hour here but anyway 5.07 kilometers and I burnt 225 calories but if I click on this I wanted to show you something kind of cool here this uh, let's go full screen this actually shows you how fast you've been walking so the blue is really slow okay green is moderate um, and then the red is fast so anywhere here I was able to pick up pace because I guess the ice wasn't uh, quite as as uh, as bad um, so along Robertson Road and then this stretch here of road which was the uh, old abandoned road um, I was able to go quite quite uh, swiftly so anyway um, if I zoom that back out if I come back down here it shows me my elevation right which is pretty flat and this is the pace so you can see where I've gone fast and slow um, <clears throat> recapping again uh, it took me an hour and 20 minutes to go the five kilometers, which is about average, I guess. Um, calories 225, my moving pace. Uh, and my best pace was 8.3 minutes per kilometer. Oh, oh, okay, so it took me 8.3 minutes um, to go uh, one kilometer. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I'm still kind of learning the software myself. There's always something new that uh, pops up that uh, um, kind of makes me go, wow. So anyway, um, that's pretty much that. Uh, all the rest is the same. Um, I won't alter this because that's not my bike. And uh, I, I just thought I'd let you see what the uh, screen looked like for the the activity for today and as I mentioned earlier um, uh, please uh, like subscribe if you haven't already done so and uh, I will bring 
you guys back uh, for some more creative uh, outdoor um, activities. But again, don't forget, I'm going to be starting up a new indoor channel, uh, JR's Corner, and that's going to be involving all of the um, hobbies that I've got, uh, and uh, that should be quite interesting. Model boat building, photography, um, and uh, I guess I get to show off my creative side. So anyway, thank you for coming out, and please like and subscribe. We'll see you real soon.